How is it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA San Andreas walkthrough video. The video that I'm going to do is part of a strand of missions called the Car Theft Strand. And CJ cannot do these missions until he finishes driving school and he has completed the Yay Kaboom Boom mission given to him by Woozy. And once those conditions are met, this strand of missions opens up. And this is where CJ begins to build his auto business with Cesar and Kendall in San Fierro. Now, this first mission is called Zeroing In for obvious reasons, and it's kind of difficult. But let's get on with the mission, and I will walk you through it. After CJ finishes the driving school, he is contacted by Jethro several times. Yo, CJ, it's like uh, Jethro, dude. Hey, Jethro, how is it? Yo, How's dude, going? the garage is coming along nicely, man. But I rang about something else. There's an unofficial street racing club in San Fierro. Unofficial as in illegal, right? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Anywho, they meet up around the driving school someplace. Thought you might, you know, like to know. Thanks, Jethro. I'ma think about it, and I'll holler at you. Later, man. The first call is about um, some street racing that can be done throughout San Fierro if you go to the driving school. The next call is about something else. Hello? Yo, it's Jethro, man. Listen, me and Caesar have used our contacts to, like, get a wish list of cars. But we'll need to turn them around real quick, dude. Now there's a showroom around the block that's come up for sale. And I thought it would be a good idea to make things look as legitimate as possible. Yeah, that's a great idea, man. I'ma look into it. I'ma holla at you. The showroom Jethro is talking about is the one that is just up the road from CJ and Cesar's garage. And you have to buy that before you can start this strand of missions and it's going to cost about uh well it's going to cost 50,000 and it's wang cars if you don't have the 50,000 you can't buy it and you can't start but if you have been saving your money and going through the missions you can buy it and continue on with this car thief strand of missions now the showroom is nothing spectacular but it will be used to display cars that um well cj appropriates without really the proper permission and the cars will be then sold and it looks all legitimate now cj will be able to start these missions right next to his garage in the red circle, as you can see. And all he has to do is walk across that. But I'm going to save first, and then we can start the mission. Read them and weep, cabron. Oh, shit. <laughs> so this is it, huh? The great new business venture that's supposed to save all of our worthless lives? You want to get in? Look, I thought this was supposed to be our foot on the ladder. I thought we were going to make this place work. Hey, it might look like we playing cars, but we actually planning. Don't worry, sweet baby. We're about to go get our first project. At last, it works. What works? Oh, just a simple bit of electronic wizardry and intellectual bombast that hacks into the state-of-the-art satellite immobilization technology on board our target vehicle. <laughs> oh, me. 
I don't know what he just said, but it's on. Yes, it's on. Wait, what's on? This gadget is set to pick up on cell phone signals. Each time she makes a call, it will give you the new location. You have to stay close if you're going to get an updated position, though. Okay? For sure. Good looking, Z. Using Zero's device, you can trail the woman and hopefully catch up to her. At which point, you are supposed to use the pit technique you learned in driving school to cause her car to spin out. The problem is, the woman drives like a maniac, and when she finds out you are trying to steal her car, well, she gets a little more crazy, even, even that much more crazy, I guess. And, yeah, it becomes a real pain, but once you get the car, you got to bring it back to... Um, the garage and I'll just let this roll out so that you can see what happens. You may have to repeat this mission a couple times in order to get it done, but once you spin her out, you got to bring the car back to the garage, and it's already pretty badly beaten up, so you kind of have to drive a little more carefully not to damage it some more and end up, you know, getting it to uh, explode on fire, and you have to start all the way over from the beginning. Yeah, the saves in this game are kind of terrible, but it is kind of fun to play still, and I'm going to make sure this car gets back to the garage by trying to take the straightest route possible. Once it gets back to the garage, the mission is complete. The one good part about San Fierro is there's a lot of vacant and open space that you can take shortcuts through. I'm going to take this alley next to Zero's former shop in order to get to um, CJ's garage, and I'm going to take the back way in as to not damage the vehicle further. The shop showing that CJ can take cars to and modify them for street racing is not the one that he purchased and Cesar is going to run. What I'm going to do now is not send CJ on the next car theft strand. I'm going to have him go back to Verdant Meadows and complete all of the. Um, desert missions. That way I can come back and complete the car thief 
Strand, maybe even go into Las Venturas and start Woozy's mission. As always, please, if you like these videos, hit the like button. If you really want to support the channel, hit the subscribe button. I put out these videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and they're kind of walkthroughs on GTA San Andreas. And don't forget to stop by my website. Every Sunday I put out a free webcomic. If you like it, keep coming back every Sunday. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.